Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Dan Argetta versus Cody Haddon. Dan Argetta, 9 and 2. He's 1, 2, 0, oh, and 2. Two no contests. Wild. Plus 155 underdog, 31 years old, 5'7 with a 68 inch reach. Fighting Cody Haddon, who's 7 and 1. Minus 185 favorite, 26 years old, 5'7 with a 69 inch reach. 1 inch reach advantage for Cody Haddon. Coming off the contender series against Billy Brand. Dropped him, didn't finish him one month ago. Now, there's something I really like about Dan Argetta. We watch him, even in his loss against Damon, Jack Dem Damon Jackson, a lot of pressure. Damon Jackson just matched up very well against Dan Argetta. That's really what that is. Gets back on the track against Nick Aguari. Does what he does. A lot of pressure, a lot of output. Ends up winning. Then, fights Ronnie Lawrence. Premature, premature stoppage. It was, it was a weird, weird fight. Then Miles John, and it's overturned because Miles John tested positive. Something, I can't remember what it was. And then fights Gene Matsumoto, and who I think is an unbelievable prospect to watch out for. Now, looked awesome early. Just looked so good early, six months ago. Then, the pressure, the pressure and the output started to get to Argetta. Maybe a combination of both. The, the thing that I worry about with, with Cody Haddon is has he fought a guy like uh, Dan Argetta, who has a lot of pressure, who has not the greatest finishing ability, no matter what his record says. Like I said, he's 9-2. and two. Six finishes out of his nine wins. Four submission wins. Again, he's 1-2-0-2 two, oh, two in the UFC as one decision. I mean, there hasn't really been that much to show that, you know, that he's a finisher. So, again, Haddon on the feet, I really, really like. I just worry about the ability to consistently stuff takedowns for 15 minutes and to consistently have the output and have the power. Uh, we haven't really seen him, you know, have tons of takedowns or threaten with, with uh, uh, submissions. He has very, very good boxing. He has good submission skills. I do think, uh, as the fight goes, Argetta will start to slow down a little bit. Those openings will be there. And I think Haddon does the same thing he did in his last one against Billy... What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Billy Brand. I think he drops him, hurts him, obviously, and uh, gets a submission win against Dan Argetta. Either get, he drops him and hurts him and submits him, or just continually drops him in each round and gets uh gets a decision win but either way i like cody Haddon. i think he does a really really good job in this matchup stifling dan argetta as the fight goes early it might look like argetta is gonna win this but in the end cody Haddon. as always subscribe like comment let me know who you're picking peace